money ground and the Western Union. When you buy a pro from it, then the passport included. Got a finance puff, and that's a nice side of Houston. Try to put him on the game, he would act too stupid at a Ukraine program. Hanging in the database, tearing up machines in New York with a cover. Hey man, check it out, man. Income Cam, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop that game on this channel. I drop a lot of game on this channel. You definitely want to be notified. So tap in and check it out. I just dropped cpnsecrets.com. cpnsecrets.com. All new 2024 methods teaching you how to build structure and properly use your CPN so that you can be able to get high limit approvals or uh, from approvals to um, even being able to leverage them to get apartments, right? So even if you need apartments or um, any type of housing, right? I got all the methods inside teaching you how to properly structure and build your CPN in 2024. A lot of y'all know I put out um, an insane method back in 2022, and that method has helped a lot of people secure a high limit credit cards. A lot of people got credit cards from that same blueprint. Um, but now I'm going into a webinar training where I'm actually going on the screen teaching you um, how to properly build it step by step, play by play. So CPN secrets out right now go tap in um this the one that a lot of people have been waiting on i'm gonna tell you something too man i get a lot of people that ask me cam how do you bypass snap and approve shield right so a lot of people asking this question you can be able to uncover that secret inside of um cpn secrets on how to bypass snap and approve shield um if you run into an issue with any type of income verification when you're trying to get approved for an apartment um, and I know it's a lot of people out there, you know, they're still working on their personal credit, still trying to get their personal credit right. Um, they're running the issues um, when trying to build or get their personal credit on track. And, you know, they just need to make a quick move. You can go tap into CPN Secrets. Um, extremely affordable. You know, I made it for the people and for people that, you know, just want to get in, learn how to build them or they want to build them for other people. Right. So it's a lot of information in there. over two hours of information in CPN Secrets. Now, check this out. I get this question all the time. People ask me, um, Cam, what's the difference between a CPN and a pre-made or a CPN and a pro, right? So I'm about to break this down and, you know, it's probably going to ruffle some feathers, but I'm about to uncover some real gems um, right now. A lot of people are confused about the two, right? You got people that think a CPN is the same as a pre-made, right? First thing I want to note is if you have a um, Social Security number or a CPN already made, or pre-made, you can't take that number and go change the name on that number, right? So you can't change the name on a CPN or on a SSN number. And a lot of people just confused about that. Like, they even hit me like, hey, Cam, can you give me a pre-made? Like, what's a pre-made? They're like, oh, just a number. What you want me to do? Just change the information on the credit monitoring and put your name on it? It's not possible. You can't do that. Um, so that's why I teach you how to build it up, you know what I'm saying, properly, step by step, and how to use um, sites like Steve Morse to make sure that you are properly decoding it, right? If you look at this, right, even Steve Morse, right? Bring them a little closer. Steve Morse, right, it shows you decoding social security numbers in one step, right? This is a real important site that is commonly overlooked by a lot of people that want to teach you how to, you know, build CPNs or how to stretch CPNs, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't really bring you this level of information so let me let me note this right if you have a um, cpn number and it does not start with the first three numbers that your actual social security number starts with then you may run into issues down the line because it's not um decoded right it's not age appropriate you need to make sure that your cpn is decoded right a lot of people try to use eins or they just try to use randomized numbers and they run into issues because what's happening now in 2024 is um not only are the credit bureaus but financial institutions, lenders, um, credit card companies, um, dealerships, what they're doing now is they're taking a lot of um, security measures, right? And they're using um, different security systems to be able to detect numbers. And a lot of people think that, you know, when it comes back um, not verified, that it could be just based off, um, you know, some, oh they, oh, they knew it was a CPN or, yeah, they do because you weren't decoding it right, right? So if you're using a CPN, you put in your name, then you put in a certain date of birth, and you're starting with the first three numbers, it may not be coming back right as a uh, issue number, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't decode it right. So that's why it's important with Steve Morris, this is commonly overlooked. You see, decoding social security numbers in one step. This is the most important step when you are building your CPN number. The most important step when you are building your CPN number, you need to start with the first three digit number. Start the first three digit number, that needs to start based off the state 
that CPN will be used in. So let's say for instance you're in Georgia, right, or you're in Florida, you need to click right here and say it was issued in, put the state that you'll be using it in. Um, and most likely the best thing to do is put it in the state that you probably had Georgia issued in. Then you go down to five digit decoder, right? So the five digit decoder, this is another important step right here. The second set of numbers, right, is based off um, your age, right? So you need to understand like when you get here, it says, um, when a person was born. So you see, it'll show you between the years, right, on what year you were born, how to actually decode the second set of numbers. And then you can randomize the last four numbers, right? But I got all that in CPN secrets, literally breaking it down, um, showing you how to do it, right? So you gotta know how to do this, right? This is really important. State year decoder, as you see it right here, state year decoder, and then you can go down. Um, this is free game, too, this is a million dollars worth of game. You see the three digit assignment chart. It's a lot of information on Steve Morris um, breaking down how to actually properly decode a CPN number so that you actually have a number that appears it is a real social. A lot of people just have random numbers they're just throwing out there and they're running into issues. So they'll end up, you know, just crashing out. Now this is the thing, right? You can't really do a pre -made. Let me speak on this. A lot of people talk about pre right? There's no such thing as pre I don't care what you heard. What people are using are profiles. Those are profiles. So let's talk about what profiles are. What people are pretty much doing is going on a dark web, you know what I'm saying, or they got somebody that may work inside a dealership, or they might have somebody just work inside a, you know, a bank or, or somewhere. Uh, they might you know, a tax person, somebody that's able to get social security numbers. And that's basically what people are doing. They're just selling you um, somebody's social security number. So you see a lot of people um, going into dealerships. I just seen a video where the lady just went inside um, the dentist. Here go a clip right here, actually. Chambly police officers responded to a call from a local dental office in Atlanta, Georgia. A woman attempting to undergo dental work using someone else's identity. The officers arrived to find the suspect comfortably seated in the dental chair. Upon questioning, the woman initially claimed to have used her own name during check-in, but her demeanor quickly shifted, feigning confusion about the situation. Hello, ma'am. How you doing today? Hey. Let me see your phone real quick. What's your name? Let me see your other phone real quick. What's your name? Tina who? Okay. What did you... What name did you come here under? Um... My name. Why? You came under here under your name? You sure about that? Mm-mm. What's going on? Okay, go ahead and stand up for me real quick. Recognizing red flags, the officer took swift action, placing her in handcuffs and escorting her out of the dental office. You got ID on you? Security four in the jail. Knowledge is one four nine zero three. Indicating one four nine zero three. All right, so y'all just seen that clip of this lady that just went inside the dentist office, and she thought she was using a CPN number, but she was actually using a profile, which was somebody's stolen identity, and that can get you in a lot of a lot of trouble, man. Especially because you would have to go get another ID you know what I'm saying that's the biggest issue is having to go get another ID so once the ID come into place it's like man that changed the whole game you know what I'm saying a lot of times it's not the CPN that's gonna get you, it's not gonna get you in trouble it's the the ID so I put out a video if you want to go check out this video right here on how to get a um, uh, ID for your CPN really easy you can go inside the DMV a lot of people just overlook that I don't know why you can go inside the DMV man y'all gotta stop getting into that mindset of um I need a fake ID I've seen people that go get fake IDs with their real name on it just to change the address on the ID. And that's crazy. You don't have to do that. What you all you have to do is, first of all, if you're going inside a bank or, you know what I'm saying, you anybody that's asking for your ID, you don't have to change the address on it. Just let them know. Make sure that you're letting them know not to use the address that's on your ID. Right? I got an address on my ID that I ain't been at in 10, 15 years, you know what I'm saying? But I still use it. Um, and I just tell whatever, you know what I'm saying, associate that I'm dealing with, a representative that I'm dealing with, a banker that I'm dealing with, is that I don't live at that address anymore, and this is the address that I want you to use. People do that all the time. Y'all just be overthinking it. But if it's that deep to you and you really just need an ID, you can go get a state ID. Um, just take the proper documentation down to the DMV, um, which will probably be a lease, and you can get a lease made online and tell them, hey, this is where I live now. You can even get a bill made. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all not even thinking like shit. You can go tap in with one Ciani and get your documents made, you know what I'm saying? And go get a bill made and take that to the DMV. A lot of y'all like, oh, well, they asked for a birth certificate so wet. It doesn't matter. All you're doing is changing the address so that you'll be able to, you know, have an ID that matches the address. Stop trying to use 
CPNs and other people's names. That's crazy. There's just a profile. CPN is really made to just be your secondary social if you have issues with your personal social. If you got bankruptcies, you got something going on, like um, you can't get approved for an apartment because you got a background or something like that, then that's where the CPN would come into play. And you'll be able to use it then um, and charge it up, and, you know what I'm saying, get some funding. Um, so, you know, a lot of people just, you know, they have these ideas in their head and the ideas are not going to work. It's really going to, you're going to crash out. And y'all the reason y'all crashing out. It's right. It's not really the, you know, the CPM. As long as it's structured right um, and, and you build it right and you got a proper public public records, then, you know, you're not going to have no issues. But I got out in the side of CPN secrets showing you how to properly get um, your CPN decoded so it appears as a real social security number. Um, also, how to get a... Um, get your public records right so all this inside man i got everything inside and i also had a snap and approved shield bypass inside of cpnsecrets.com you know what i'm saying so i just crafted the whole 2024 method man i got a lot inside of that so y'all go tap in with that i get a lot of people asking me all the time cam hey man what's going on man what's up with this cpn cpn i got a brand new method for y'all you know what i'm saying you go tap in with um and i, I really took my time with this because i wanted to bring something that would um be more you know easy to understand for the people that want to understand how um, CPNs work, um, what they're used for, what you can use them for, what you can use them for, how to build it properly. Um, even this data right here, you get people that just go putting in random numbers. You had to take time when you go on SSN Validator um, to find you know, a, a number, but if you decode it properly, once you decode it properly um, and your CPN number is decoded properly, um, then it'll be able to narrow down your options for a real um, a real looking social security number. Another thing to, to note is skip tracing your CPN, right? So to make sure it's never been issued, that's really important. Um, but like I told you guys, if you've been tapped in with me since day one, if you've been in Up Your Income since day one, I still got a blueprint inside of Up Your Income too. I got a lot inside of Up Your Income. But um, let me give you another little free gem real quick. Check this out. This is what I use to skip trace my CPNs, right? If you want to skip trace your CPN just to make sure it, it hasn't been issued and it's real, um, you can use Coach coast trade lines right you can go on coast trade lines and you see what it says right here validation services so they can skip trace you can skip trace the number right here they skip trace up the 10 numbers right here for 20 dollars each you can go on coast you know what i'm saying they're gonna skip trace the number and make sure it has not been issued you know what i'm saying so you can put your cpn number right there i'm telling you and they got cpn friendly trade lines so coast trade lines cpn friendly i don't own coast that is not my company i don't have no you know what I'm saying? They don't give me anything for it. I'm just giving y'all, you know what I'm saying, some game and some news that you can use. You know what I'm saying? So stop buying all these Bibles and all this shit. I'm going to show you how to build it properly, how to break it down so that it's actually um, something that you can use so you won't be going in dealerships getting in trouble. Um, let's talk about something else with CPNs, man. A lot of people want to go get cars with CPNs. When you're going into these dealerships trying to get cars on CPNs, this is important to note. Stop trying to go get cars over 50000 if you don't have... Um, any heavyweight trade lines on there. Nine times out of ten, you won't. Let me let me help you understand something about comparable auto history. Um, if you don't have comparable auto history on your um, file, then you know they're gonna cap you at like forty, fifty thousand. When you're trying to go over like fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand, trying to go get some crazy at Lambo truck and all this shit, because you think you got an eight hundred credit score, it's not gonna work and it's gonna raise red flags. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna make them dig deep. They're gonna really dig. Um, when you're trying to go get like over a hundred thousand dollar vehicle, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to go get over a hundred thousand dollar car, they about to dig deep, you know what I'm saying, and make sure, hey, they're not about to put up a hundred thousand without making sure that this number is valid, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times what you can do, I've seen a lot of success with people going into a lots like Kia, Hyundai, Honda, going in there using your CPN, and getting cars under thirty thousand dollars and being being able to put down a small amount, even like a thousand dollars or something, and put their money down get those cars like that even though it may be thirty thousand put those on Turo, um and you know what I'm saying put them out for car rental you got people that do DoorDash, uber eats all that and you can turn your cp into some real cash flow if you really just play it play the game the right way you know what i'm saying now you're gonna have an auto reporting to your cpn for thirty thousand dollars you know what i'm saying it's really paying itself so now so you're gonna look up six months from now your, your car halfway paid off or you're gonna get a car fifteen thousand put it on Turo. your car halfway paid off now the CPN is more thick, your public records is heavy, and you know what I'm saying, you can really make some power moves now because you got these cars reporting to your CPN, you know what I'm saying? So um, another good trade line for it, you may want to add on there, um, when you guys, um, aside from Coach Trade Lines, Coach, you can put some AUs on there. Go put your good rent reporting on there. I got all the secrets inside 
of CPN Secret Store. And I'm gonna give y'all the real game, man, and really show y'all how to really dive in to the CPN game. Y'all know I'm the GOAT. Y'all know I've been doing this for a long time. Um, when it comes to anything credit, anything that requires a, you know what I'm saying, any type of credit, you know, I'm the guy, you know what I'm saying, go tap in. CPN Secrets, AI Dispute Secrets out as well, up your income um, out as well. But you know, I get a lot of people asking me, hey Cam, what's going on with the CPN? I see a lot of people out here, you know, they, they teaching the wrong methods. And I want to lead you out the right way. So two hours of intense training showing you how to actually um, get that bag and secure that bag off your CPN. Got the snap and approved seal bypass method. So, if, you know what I'm saying, you want to get a spot, show you how to bypass snap and approved seal. And I also have um, a CPN approved apartment list, right? So basically, um, houses and you know apartments and landlords you know that are cpn friendly so i got a lot of that inside of that man so you know what i'm saying for the people that still on that wave it's all good you know ai dispute secrets all this out right now go tap in right now all right so see y'all on the other side subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you can be notified a lot of game coming we got a lot on the way um let's get it What you know about a money grind and the Western Union when you buy a pro from it in the passport included. Got a finance puff and that's a lot. Side of Houston, try to put him on the game. He will act too stupid.